Hello everyone. This video is primarily for the honest skeptics of the Flat Earth, but I hope that everyone will enjoy it. Despite how difficult it may be, I simply ask you, as an honest, objective, reasonable person, to set aside your indoctrination and belief in the globe, at least temporarily, and examine the evidence that I'm going to share with you today. I believe the Flat Earth evidence here is dispositive, and I think you'll find it compelling as well. Flat Earth is certainly a very difficult truth to accept, because the ramifications are so great. But we do indeed live on a flat and stationary Earth. According to the globe model, all bodies of water, including the Great Salt Lake, must have a certain degree of convexity to them. As Samuel Robotham wrote in 1849, if the Earth is a globe and is 25,000 English statute miles in circumference, the surface of all standing water must have a certain degree of convexity. Every part must be an arc of a circle. From the summit of any such arc, there will exist a curvature or declination of 8 inches in the first statute mile. In the second mile, the fall will be 32 inches. In the third mile, 72 inches or 6 feet as shown in the following diagram. I have continued the numbers up to 200 miles. All water must have this convexity if the globe was a reality, but this earth curvature does not exist anywhere. Now, this laser test took place on Saturday, January 16th, 2021, at the Great Salt Lake in Utah, between Antelope Island State Park and the Great Salt Lake Marina. I was located here on the northwest corner of Antelope Island. My friend Robert from FE Corps was located here on the south end of the Great Salt Lake near the Great Salt Lake Marina. I have the coordinates listed for both locations. The total distance between the two points was 21.03 miles. We both had our cameras and lasers at around 5 feet above the water. My latitude is 41.037384. My longitude is negative 112.278569. Here's a photograph of how my camera was set up standing in the water. Here's a photo of the laser. And here's a selfie. I also brought my two sons to manage the laser and the flashlight. Based on the globe curvature math, from an observation height of 5 feet and a distance of 21.03 miles, the curvature of the Earth should have been hiding 223 feet of the other shore. Here's another globe curvature calculator that reaches the same amount. In other words, Robert's laser and camera at 5 feet should have been 218 feet below the horizon if the globe was real. Or you could say, as another example, that Robert would have had to have been standing on something like this 218-foot cross to see my laser 21 miles away, or vice versa. But let's watch the video, and please forgive my giddiness when I see the distant laser, as I was pretty excited. I see it. Yeah, I saw it. You saw what? A little flash over there. It's like to the right of the lights. Yeah! Can you point over there? That was it. You guys saw it with your naked eyes? Yeah, I saw the over there. That's awesome. Oh, there he is! <laughs> I got it! Woo! <laughs> All right! No, just keep aiming it over there. Try to get closer. Try to move it around in that area because you might get a direct hit. So <laughs> think about it. You can see the reflection on the water. So the did the reflection and the laser hop the curvature? <laughs> awesome. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Look at this still from the video. You can see that I have a direct line of sight as I'm looking straight at the intense source of the laser. I'm not seeing the laser from an angle. Also, notice the reflection of the laser on the water. As I said in the video, did both the laser 
and its reflection hop the curvature to present a false flat Earth? Where did the massive Earth bulge run off to? Unfortunately, because I didn't have any communication with Robert, we couldn't really perform any other tests. But here's Robert's video from the southern side. He didn't have a super zoom camera like the P900, but you'll still see my laser coming from the north. Matt from the Utah Flat Earth Group was there to help Robert with the filming. Let's watch Robert's video. Okay, we're filming now because we've seen the laser a couple times. Oh, there it is! Yes! 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 Oh my gosh! Okay, I want you to get my laser to show so that people can see what we see. Is the laser goes out absolutely straight. So just get it right here. You can see the beam going out there. You can see there's no bending, there's no curving, it's not going down or anything. It's just straight as an arrow. Okay. And it's a great shot of that. You can see it reflecting in the water. Even. Yeah, see, I saw his flash up in the air there. I'm going to try and, and bring mine up a little bit. See I mean, now that I've zoomed in, you can't see anything else, but you can still see the blue. His blue flash. His blue flash? Yeah. Really? In order to maintain the globe narrative, some globe propagandists will claim that the laser perfectly bent in an arc to match the Earth's curvature, but the claim is ridiculous. Obviously, I had a direct line of sight to the source of the laser here, and I had a direct line of sight with the base of the smelter stack. Nothing in the atmosphere causes lasers and images of distant objects to perfectly wrap around an imaginary Earth bulge so that the Earth bulge somehow disappears. I strongly recommend these videos from Dr. John D, who has a PhD, where Dr. John D goes into much more detail regarding the impossibility of the arcing laser claim. Simply stated, this is not a mirage. I certainly had a direct line of sight with Robert's laser when it should have been 218 feet below the horizon. There is no earth curvature there. And if there's no curvature over the Great Salt Lake, and there's no curvature over any body of water. Therefore, the globe is false. Yes, we were all lied to. Flat Earth is a humbling fact. I understand. I used to be a globe believer too, up until just five years ago. But there is freedom in truth. A big thanks to Robert from FE Core. Thank you everyone for watching.